guys, what is up? What's going on? The forecast for next week looks pretty crappy. 10 to 20 centimeters of snow may be coming. So what that means is today might be the last day of my summer setup on my WRX with the Rotas. So considering that it might be one of the last nice warm days we have where my WRX is looking nice and clean because in the winter time, my WRX doesn't really stay that clean. I wanted to film a walk around to show you guys how my WRX is currently sitting as of right now, October 29th, 2017. So this is my fall WRX walk around tour. Let's go get started. guys so let's start with the front there's quite a bit going on with the front I feel like that's the busiest part of my car uh, as you guys know in my recent videos I've shown you quite a bit of my lighting setup but to give you an overview of it I've got the diode dynamics switchback C lights in here and I've got the Morimoto demonize in the projector that's the OEM LED projector with the sport premium model of the WRX and then in my DRL spot right now I've got kind of a cheaper LED light. Uh, I've actually disabled that for the time being. I'm looking to switch that up soon just because I don't use it unless it's for high beam and like they don't really do much so. Then down here I've got the Prolights S4 fog light bezels kit. These are the switchback bezels. I've got an LED light in the turn signal which I've disabled just currently just because I've got this and this as my turn signal right now. I just turned it off for a bit just because I felt like there was so much signal light going on on the front. These are the Morimoto XB LED fog light projectors with some yellow uh, film over them. All of my headlights are from Pro Lights, so the entire kit, everything I have, is from Pro Lights. Right on the front here, I have just a vinyl emblem overlay. It's carbon fiber and gold. And then behind here, I've got the Hella, I think super tones, I'm not sure. They're pretty loud horns, obviously. And then the Perrin horn mount to go with them. You can kind of see down there. And uh, those I've got running with both my OEM horns. So I have four horns running in total, just pretty loud. Down below, hidden behind the grill, you guys know, I've got the Oxbeam 23 inch LED RGB controlled light bar, which is pretty cool. I only really use the light bar when I'm out driving through the mountains late at night. A uh, handful of times coming back after dinner somewhere and it's like midnight, it's really dark out. There's no lights obviously. So it's actually come in handy once or twice. These are my front canards. These are also from Wani uh, at 15 WRX on Instagram. He made these. Um, I think he sells them. You can message him on Instagram, but I know he's kind of out of the Subi game now. Got a BMW, but he still, I think, might make them. They're pretty sweet. They uh, just bolt on, actually. And then, of course, my Rota PWR-RA rims. Hyper black, 18 by 9.5 inch. I think plus 38 offset. And then if we look close up here, I've got these gold chrome lug nuts, open-ended. I've never had problems running open-ended lug nuts. In the winter, I run different lug nuts though. And then the tires are Cooper Xeon RS3-S's. Performance summer tire, they actually have been doing really good. I really like them. Right here, I've got just a small red WRX vinyl inlay there. This was literally the first mod I ever did on my WRX, so this has been there for two years, which is cool. I've had that on forever. Down below here, I've got the Rally Armor mud flaps, a classic Subaru piece. Uh, they actually do work in the winter when there's lots of snow. They kind of help keep things a little bit less dirty with snow kicking up and flying around. More so, they just look cool. So that is pretty much it for the front end of my WRX. I'm really happy with how the front end's coming together this year. Uh, I've done so much this year alone. Uh, I think it just looks super aggressive. Moving on to the sides here, a question I get asked a lot is my window tints. Uh, I get asked what percentages I'm running and if it's illegal here where I live. And the answer to that is yes, it is. Front window tint is not allowed and I'm very aware of that uh, and understand that. So I'm running 25% tint in the front and I believe 10% in the rear. You can't really tell on camera, I don't think, but the front's just a little bit less dark. Driving at night, 
it's a tiny bit difficult, but you get used to it pretty quickly. But it looks so good. Honestly, putting window tint on a white car adds so much contrast. Up at the top, this is the OEM Subaru Vortex generator. And then moving on to the rear of my car, there's not as much going on back here. I'm running the Diodynamics tail as turn kit, so my actual brake light is my turn signal. And then I'm running dual reverse white LED lights. So I've got four reverse lights in total on the back. Again, this entire setup is from Pro Lights, so that's pretty sweet. It all really looks good. This is the Subi Speed black Subaru emblems. Very expensive. And then this side, I've just plasti dipped the WRX emblem myself. Much cheaper, and it's held up for one year like this. No problems. I power wash it at least once a week, and I have no problems. Another gold vinyl emblem overlay on the back here. And then if you look kind of up in there, I've got LED license plate lights, also from Pro Lights. And then moving down right in the middle, I've got the rear F1 brake light. I've got that set up as only a brake light right now, so when I actually apply my brakes, it comes on. And then I think my most viewed video, everyone knows, I've got the nameless muffler deletes. They sound really, really good. guys so that's my fall 2017 WRX walk around as it sits currently snow is coming in the next few weeks so I'll definitely be showing you guys what my winter setups gonna look like this car is not a garage princess it doesn't just sit in the garage it gets driven daily throughout the winter and there's absolutely no signs of weakness as this thing just blasts through the snow up here in Canada <laughs> such an awesome car for winter and it's so much fun so stay tuned for that video guys I'll be showing you what my winter setups gonna look like thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I wanted to also mention I have a few of the Peking Ninja decals left here's one of them if you guys are interested in picking one of these up you can head on over to www.ninjaxbart.com or I'll have a link down below in the description I think I've got like 10 of them remaining currently. Thanks again guys for watching and I hope that you're having a good day or night whatever it is where you are.